calls. How, how much did that all take effect? Do you think? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe that doesn't uh, it doesn't pay a lot, a lot. You know, maybe only the, like because you know there's three three hours difference. So when over there, I think I'll, over there is ten. Over here is like seven o'clock. So I think I got used to over there sleeping at ten, and at that time I was already supposed to fight. And so I think maybe a little bit, and also the, you know the people that there were not Mexican, a lot of Mexican fans over there and everything. But like I said, I don't I don't care about that because you know. Uh, once we get up there in the ring, it's only me and Carl Frampton up there. So I think it's you know the training. That's how you need to show it, you know, in the training, and that's all. Frampton mentioned that there was a rematch clause in the first fight, mm -hmm. and he said there's a rematch clause in this fight in case mm -hmm. he wins mm -hmm. and he wants to fight in, in Ireland. Is, is that true? And, and do you have an issue fighting over in Ireland? I, I don't. I haven't heard about it or anything, you know. But I, like I said, I don't care. If, if he does, if we there's a rematch clause for the third fight, I don't. I have no. No problem. We're going over to Ireland, like I said. Uh, it's only gonna only gonna be me and Carl Frampton up in the ring, and the fans. If, if we go up there in Ireland, if I beat him and they give the fight to him, the fans are gonna know who who really won. You know, I don't really care about that. As long as the fans are happy, they can keep on supporting me. That's all that matters. I, I just care about the fans that they keep supporting me, that they love how I fight, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You seem a lot more focused this time around. Yeah. I, I mean, I remember last time. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't know what it was, but maybe it was your dad, I don't know what, but you seem almost, like, I, I see kind of a little bit of an edge in you, and you never see that. What, can you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, no, it, you know, like, I'm, I have that in my head, like, since, you know, not only for, but I want to do it for myself, you know. I want to prove all those fans, all those people that are doubting me, that are saying that, that Crown Farm is going to beat me again this time. I want to prove them, and I, once I do that, I'm going to feel proud of myself too. I'm going to feel proud of myself that uh, I should put them all wrong and that they're still Leo Santa Cruz for a long, long time. Does this victory yeah. rank up as far as, if you were to get this victory, mm -hmm. do you feel you, you would feel as how you did when you won the world championship? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's my you know, mentality. This is like, and my, my dad, my brother, they all tell me that to think of this fight, you know, I, as if I'm fighting for my first time for a world title. Like if you know I'm still nobody and I'm, I want to get up there and this is how I see it, you know, with the same hunger, with the same mentality and everything, and that's what I'm planning to do, you know. Like if I'm still barely climbing up there and I want to, I'm that's my dream, you know, that's my dream to get that title and with that I'm gonna be more, more, I'm gonna give more 100 percent. You have to be so anxious to get inside the ring to redeem that your first loss. What's going through your mind just a few days away? I'm very excited, you know, happy and anxious, anxious to step in the ring and see what's going to happen, you know. Um, I just want to go out there and show everything I've been working on, you know. Uh, I've been sparring already 12 rounds. I feel great, great conditioning, great speed, great power, everything. And I just want to go out there and show the world that, you know, I'm better than Carl Frampton and that I want to prove it and show it. Hopefully, God, everything works out and we get the victory. It's good to see your dad looking better and better. What difference does he make being in your corner compared to the first time that he wasn't? Uh, a lot better, you know. There, you, you know what a big relief there is having him there with me because you know the first time I was just thinking about him, worrying him that if he was gonna be able to be there with me in my fight or how he was doing because you know they said that once you have cancer, any anything could happen. Uh, if you could be good today and then tomorrow you could be bad and pass away or something, and that was always my main worry about. My dad, you know, to see if I was gonna be there with us tomorrow, and but now he's been great. You know, the cancer is in remission 100%, and he's been in the gym with me every day, and it's just big relief, and I, I even train more relaxed and more comfortable. Yeah. And what do you have to do differently to convince the judges or to stop Frampton this time? I think I had to get uh, more punches in clearer, more more clear. I had to, you know. Uh, I, I'm gonna work the body more, a lot more. I'm gonna break him down and just set my punches a lot better. You know, the first one I, I think I threw a lot, a lot, but they weren't getting there clearly. They weren't there saying with great power. And now this one, we're gonna set them great with great uh, power and just make them a lot clearer. This time around, we're expecting a lot more Mexicans in the crowd. How excited are you to put them a, a great show? Yeah, I know I'm you know, excited because you know, right here is like my second hometown, Las Vegas. I fought there six times already. And having there my home hometown and everything, you know, it feels like great, uh, great support, and they they're gonna support me once up up there in the ring. And I feel when I feel tired stuff, and when I hear them scream, they're gonna give me that extra, that extra to go out there and give it to the to the last round. And 
lastly, what message do you have for all the fans that are going to be out there supporting you and watching you on Showtime? And uh, to all my fans that thank you for all the support, that the ones that after my defeat, you know, they still kept supporting me, pushing me, telling me that I'm still their champion, that thank you all of it, that they're the ones that kept me, you know, uh, motivated and with the hunger to go out there and become again their champion. And that's what I want to do. And hopefully, at January 28, I go out there and give them another great fight, fight of the year and get them the victory. Yeah. Thanks, Leo. Good luck. Okay.